I'm now joined by Anthony Godin of Godin's. Anthony has um, many of his motorbike features here today. And Anthony sadly and I uh, met actually over the late departed uh, Lawrence Cretien, that was a bike collector and my brother-in-law. And Anthony very kindly got involved at the divestment of the stock and sold one of the most prized possessions, which was a Bruff SS80. That's right. Yeah. Um, do you handle many of those bikes, Anthony? I probably had uh, 20 Bruffs through my hands in the last two or three years because the market for them has really, really improved. Um, but I've had quite a few over the years, but of late, they've more of them come out of the woodwork because their values have trebled, quadrupled. Well, we've got one of Lawrence's bikes here today. We'll have a we look have. at that a bit later, yeah. and that's a Norton. Can you just Norton. tell us about the Norton? Yeah, it's a very nice Norton Model 18, which is a, a competition-style um, off-road bike. Um, but it's quite rare because it's a pre-war bike, um, which are not many of them exist. Um, and it's a very nice thing. Very nice bike. And the value of that being sold here at the day? I would think that um, you know they're worth between eight and twelve thousand pounds. It's that kind of market for. Them. I know you're busting to tell us about this Vincent Shadow <laughs> okay. right behind us. Yep. So um, tell us a little bit more about this bike. Um, well, this is a Series C Black Shadow, which uh, we have for sale at the moment. Again, Vincents have, have been at the forefront of the collector market in the last four or five years. Um, it's a very iconic thing, it's a very special motorcycle, especially in view of where it, where it came from and the time that it was built, because in the 50s when these were available, they were the fastest thing on two wheels. So they really do go, And but it's more of the technology that was involved in them as well, because there's an awful lot of aircraft type technology in a motorcycle of that kind. What's interesting about this particular bike is in 51, when that engine was built in February, it was about the same time that John Surtees started his apprenticeship at Vincent. So it is possible that he may have even worked on that particular motor. What sort of valuation would you put on this shadow? Um, I've actually got this for sale at the moment for £57,000. Well, thank you, Anthony, for joining us You're today. Welcome. We wish you well with the shadow. Many thanks.